Welcome, Army fans. This is Joe Iacono with GoBlackKnights.com, along with Army linebacker Andon Thomas. Andon, uh, as I mentioned before we came on camera, you look pretty uh, worn out. You're uh, you're sweaty. You looked like you worked really hard today. Tell me a little bit about practice today. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty long one. I think we we're out there for I don't know two, a little bit more than two hours. But you know, always got to give the best effort. You know, just working the fundamentals. But it, it was a great practice today. So. You had a, uh, a pretty big game against Air Force. Um, you know, you and Caleb both as the inside backers. Chance Keith uh, at the nickel slash Apache position had a big game as well. Statistically, uh, did a really good job. Um, you know, my I was at the game. I was in the press box. My publisher, Charles Grievous, uh, we were both watching. and We both commented on your ability to move sideline to sideline laterally. Um, and how that has really impressed us. Um, anything you and your position coaches do specifically to work on that? Any drills you've worked on? Kind of talk a little bit uh, to the to the fans here about what you think has allowed you to work laterally so well. Uh, first off, shout out Caleb. Shout out Chance. They had great games. They're my boys. Uh, obviously, shout out my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thought I wouldn't be here. Um, but I mean, you know, we work a lot of drills, uh, our coach position coach is big on like staying lateral, staying out of the trash of like all that's happening in front of us. Um, we are obviously have hard practices, so, you know, we're running a lot, um, you know, we run a lot of plays every day. So, you know, just staying out of the trash, working lateral. I mean, we do it in practice, so that's how it translates over to game. Awesome. And, uh, this week, you know, North Texas, Super prolific offense. Uh, we mm -hmm. talked to Coach Munkin earlier today. Um, you know, they're in the top five nationally in passing offense and total offense. Um, what are you guys doing to try and prepare for uh, Chandler Morris and his super speedy receivers and all the weapons that they have across the ball from y'all? Yes, sir. Obviously, I mean, they're really well coached. They got a great offense, great defense, great team. I mean, the coaches know what they're doing. So it's going to be a good challenge for us. Um, but I mean, we're not going to really switch anything up. Just stay with the fundamentals. Um, got to tackle well, got to cover well in space. Um, if we do those things well, it should turn out how we do. But, you know, obviously they got a great team. So it'll be a great challenge for us. It's tough. And and then this is, you know, your first year as a regular starter at Army. Uh, you know, you, you had some spot duty prior to this and played some special teams and everything. Um, but, you know, you've you've stepped right into the lineup and done a phenomenal job. Uh, who have, you know, obviously your position coaches, but who have been some of your kind of mentors as you've matured and matriculated through the Army program that have really helped you uh, get to the level you're at as a first year starter? So obviously, you know, Coach Juice, position coach, does a great job, you know, teaching us. I mean, I wouldn't want to be coached by anyone else. Um, as a freshman and last year as a sophomore, I'll definitely say Leo Lowen. You know, he's obviously a big name around here. Um, just the way he carried himself, the way he was on the field, you know, how he worked his technique on the field. That's been a big mentor to me. Um, still keeping up with him. So, you know, that's kind of who I've been going to, asking questions around, um, seeing what he did in certain situations. Um, but yeah, Leo for sure. So let me ask you this. This is kind of more of a mindset question. Mm -hmm. So you guys are 8-0 now, and every week you win, right? And I know the goal is to go 1-0 and every week. Yes, but sir. every week you win, and you just beat Air Force. And now you're 8-0, and you've got two conference games left, North Texas being one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, and clearly, you know, I know you guys – stay focused as much as humanly possible on the target that's in front of you and kind of to use an army term, killing the target that's in front of you. Um, but, you know, with North Texas coming up, you know, you win there, you're nine and Oh, uh, I haven't watched yet, but the first college football playoff rankings come out tonight, AAC title on the line. Um, how do you guys stay focused? Uh, yeah, that's, that's a great question. Coach Munkin, you know, he does a great job spearheading that. He's like, you know, we got to go one and oh every week. We can't keep looking at the playoffs, looking at, you know, the next games ahead. We got to focus on the, the one this week. Um, I mean, obviously, playoffs is a great deal, it means a great deal to us, but you know, we can't do that without winning this week. So, um, just looking at what's in front of us, you know, focus on the fundamentals, going one and oh every week. So, we just got to keep doing that stuff. And, you know, I've been, you know, I'm a Old longtime Army football fan, 93 grad. I've been around forever. Uh, you know, and I've seen pretty decent defensive lines, good 
you know, uh, Josh McNary was a superstar, ended up in the NFL. Uh, there's been a couple of really good defensive lines at Army, but the defensive line I've seen this year with Cody Harris Miller, uh, Kyle Lewis, um, Jake Latour, uh, Tuioti, the list goes on and on and on. As a linebacker, what has that been like for you and for Caleb to know that you guys have the confidence in the guys up front to keep bodies off of you so that you can be free to read your keys and go make plays? Right. I mean, it means a great deal. You know, we have those trust, those guys up front. Shout out them. I mean, they're really in the trenches every play. Uh, I know it's hard up there, but, you know, it means a great deal to us knowing we can trust them uh, as linebackers and, you know, keep guys off of us and allows us to make plays. Thankfully, just super grateful for them. Um, and they're obviously making plays too. They're not just taking on double teams. They're making plays as well. So shout out those guys. Um, they got to keep, you know, playing great uh, if we're going to succeed. And I know they will. So proud of those guys. And, and then, you know, I know as, Part of the Army culture, the, the team goals always come first. They always come before the individual goals. Mm -hmm. uh, but do you personally have any individual goals for the rest of the season in terms of what you like to accomplish? Uh, honestly, not really. I mean, okay, no, no personal goals, you know, just focus on the team win. I mean, if somebody's playing well and they start above me, you know, I'll be happy for them. So whatever helps the team win, honestly. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, so you're a cow. Uh, have you selected a major yet? Uh, chemical engineering major. Wow. A really yes, smart guy. Uh, <laughs> As you can see, by the way, he read, <laughs> reads offenses, Army fans. Very smart guy here. So that's that's good stuff. Um, and then thank you very much for your time today. Uh, best of success to you the rest of the week and, and against North Texas. And, um, you know, really look forward to seeing what you do the rest of the way, especially uh, – you know, not don't want to look ahead. We've got some really big games in between now and the uh, second Commander in Chiefs Trophy game, but I know we're all expecting some uh, some big things for that game against the uh, Academy from Maryland. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much, Army fans. It's been Joe Icono along with Army linebacker Andon Thomas. Go Army, beat Navy.